Hello everybody, this is Refresh and I am here to take a look at the Zendikar Rising Bundle for Magic the Gathering. On the back here it says that Adventure returns to Zendikar. Zendikar is back and deadly as ever. Gather a party of adventurers and explore ancient floating ruins in search of forgotten relics, but be careful the path is fraught with monsters and traps ready to claim the lives of the unwary. Can you find the truth within the ruins and calm the royal? It comes with an alternative art premium foil Charix the Raging Isle, 20 premium foil and 20 regular basic lands, 10 15 card Zendikar Rising draft boosters, a Zendikar Rising card box, a special oversized spin down life counter, and two reference cards. Let's go ahead and confirm the contents here. Not listed that you get is one of these security cards. You also get a ad for set boosters, which is a new type of booster pack as of that set. And then you have this gear for adventure bit of flavor, I guess, which is something that you get. You have the slip case, which actually has some artwork on the inside, so you can turn it into a Zendikar Rising poster. Also not advertised is this Planeswalker box. You get these with every bundle. They are generally used as spacers so that this thing takes up a little bit more space, but you can find a use for this perhaps somewhere. It doesn't really fit decks, but maybe you can put a bunch of spin down counters or something in this. Here's the box. It is pretty simple. It doesn't really have anything on the sides to distinguish it very much as an across. You're gonna have to remember that this is Zenicar Rising. The words Zenicar Rising aren't anywhere. Just the barest of art here, and then the Magic the Gathering logo on top. But it uses the partial cut style of box here. We we'll pop this open. You have the inner box here with your oversized spin down counter, which is a nice dark emerald green. I, I like this counter quite a bit. Then you have your packs of magic. And then I confirmed that there are 10 here. The mini box inside acts as a divider or you can use it as a deck box or something like that. It's okay, I guess I'm not gonna complain that it exists. You have your two reference cards, which has a turn reminder, which is good. The popular magic formats, which is not the best. And then an attacking block reminder, which it goes really well with this turn reminder for newer players. Oh, this isn't really a newer player product. And then how to cast spells, which again, this is good for newer players, but this is a product that I do not think newer players should be buying necessarily. And so there's that. And we'll take a look at these packs right here. Zenicar Rising is known for having full art lands, but as you can see here, these are not full art lands. And so this may be one of the ways to get these non-full art lands, but it is kind of a, an interesting choice that these don't contain full art lands. And maybe that's to keep people from buying this to get the full art lands, but uh, I don't really like the fact that you're not getting them here. But here are your 20 non-foil basic lands. You have Charix the Raging Isle here. As you can see, all of these cards are bending just a little bit, and so the foiling process is still causing the lands to bend, but it is nice and shiny, and so you get that. These are not full arts though, as you can see. They are just the regular basic lands that come with the set, and there's only one art of each kind, and so they're duplicated like this. And so it's not even unique, different kinds of art, but one kind of art each with that. And then Charix, the Raging Isle, I guess is fine if you're playing draft. This is not exactly a card that people really care about. To get one in foil, I guess is fun. And then you have one that has alternate art, but you know, this is not a chase rare of any sort. And I'm sure that's why they put it in here, but I'd rather have more lands than to have Cherix, and I'd also rather just have full arts in here instead of foils even. And so that is all that in here. Overall, this is the contents. This product has kind of been the same for a while now. And there are changes here from the previous iteration of this product that I don't like and things that I like. Like I like the larger, big, fat spin down counter. 
I wish that there were more lands here. I don't really care about the foils because the foils are all kind of bendy like tacos. The promo card is always of negligible value. And then the box is nice, although I always keep wishing that the art were on the box itself were a bit more distinctive in the set so that when you have this up on your shelf you can look at the side and be like yes this is a zendikar rising box instead of like being like oh it's a green box which set is this from so those are my thoughts and the basically look at what it comes in the zendikar rising bundle let me know what your thoughts about this bundle are if you have any experience with it if you found this video helpful, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can hit subscribe. This was Refresh. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.